you know, like, how's it going, man? It's going well. Uh, yes, uh, thanks for meeting with us today. Oh, yeah. No um, you know, Fesco is seen as a leader in emissions analysis as it pertains to the oil field. So I'd like to talk a little bit about the emissions department with you. Do you want to tell us how all that got started? That all got started back in the mid 90s. Mm -hmm. uh, we started getting a bunch of calls for uh, measuring vapor coming off of uh, stock tanks in the oil field. And uh, at the time, the methods for, uh, for doing such tests were very inaccurate, very inconsistent, and quite costly. Uh, so at the time we had uh, purchased a PDT lab, and as I was the one who was going out and collecting most of the samples and having to do the tests, uh, I thought about uh, utilizing the PDT equipment that we had purchased to be able to predict very accurately the emissions coming off of those tanks. So that is uh, how we started utilizing some very uh, accurate uh, equipment to allow us to get into the to the tank vent vapor analysis. And the equation of state calculations, uh, first and foremost, are based on an analysis. And the equation is only going to be able to do and be as accurate as the analysis itself is. Of course, it is a um, it is a calculation. It is not empirical data. We control a flash from start to finish. We heat the sample. We pressurize it up. We flash it in a controlled environment, replicating a facility. We have uh, shrinkages, which basically tells you from your separator to your stock tank how much you're going to lose, how much volume is lost due to the liberation of the gas that comes off, and also how it reacts to temperature. So if you start off with a high temperature at your separator, as your fluid sits in the tank, it will it will shrink based on the temperature as well as what is liberated off in gas. And that gives them a, the ability to predict their sales volumes. They can also utilize that information within their uh, measurement devices on, on location. They are given an API gravity of the fluid they are given a read vapor pressure, as we've discussed already. They will be given a value, a uh, GOR, gas to oil ratio, of the vapors coming off of the tank. Therefore, they can apply that to their facility as long as the fluid coming in is of similar uh, similar quality, they can utilize that for predicting their volume coming uh, in the future down the road. Uh, they can also utilize that number for sizing vapor recovery units, sizing flares. Uh, we also work with design engineers who are designing a facility, they'll bring us a sample off of the well, you know, the number one well, first one they've drilled in an area with a plan to drill multiple more, multiple uh, wells, but they wanna get started on the facility. In that, we can take that first sample, run it through our flash system. They can accurately size their vapor recovery units, their flares to fit the future of their facility without having to do multiple 
uh, uh, turnarounds to re, uh, reconfigure the facility for higher volumes. And it also allows them to not oversize or undersize their uh, their control mechanisms for their facilities. Okay, well, I appreciate uh, taking the time uh, Not a problem. with us. Uh, we will talk to you later. Okay, appreciate it.